get me started here. All right. Hey, what is up, guys? Steve here. And it is time to start another stream. Today, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be grabbing... Uh, we don't want to make it too easy by grabbing Squirtle. Oh, for, for those of you who don't know, uh, the title says HM Only Run. Um, I have two videos of footage already in the works, so I don't need any more footage. So I figured, you know what? Let's do a run that might take a while. So that way um, I can use the Friday and Saturday stream to get it done. Um, I don't expect to finish this run today. There's a good chance we might finish it tomorrow, though. Assuming we do about three hours a piece. Um, I, I picked the Charizard background here. I, I had to create it, but uh, I picked it because I didn't want to make the uh, starter have Surf. That was way too easy. Um, I mean, really, it was a toss-up between uh, Charizard and uh, Venusaur because I think both of them can learn Cut. And by them, I mean their starter evolution. I don't remember if Vena if uh, Bulbasaur can learn Cut, but to be fair, I'd rather have the faster Charizard anyways. And I can't remember, but I feel like Charizard also has the higher, uh, higher regular attack. If not, then I mean, still uh, attack and strength, pretty good. Um, actually, I'm just gonna double check here, and I'm gonna keep this monitor open so that way I can look up things while I'm playing we're not necessarily going for speed but speed will be a factor okay so 82 attack on Venusaur and 84 attack on Charizard and considering uh, Charizard learns both cut and strength and Venusaur learns Cut. I think we're going with Charizard, just for the strength. Uh, the run would probably be too easy if I went with Squirtle and Surf, so we're just not going to. Just to make the run take a little bit longer and make it a little bit more fair. So anyways, now that the beginning is over, let's go ahead and get started then. Just make sure to set my options here. Oh, actually, I should probably keep shift on. That's a first. Okay, that's exactly what I'll do. All right, and... Oh, yeah, because we're starting... Yep, all right. Well, we don't need to start the timer until we become small. And begin. I've gone down to that place and walked in it so many times that it's ingrained in my mind. Anyways. And I guess uh, to be sporting, we're going to name them to be, you know, different. Um, okay, so Charmander likes to go, Charmander, Char, Char. That's exactly what we're going to name it. Char, Char. I'm sure some kid out there got a Charmander and was like, Ooh, you say Char a lot. Maybe your name is Char. All right. So we got our little Char Char here. And our move thing, I don't remember if it'll change depending on, uh, since I'm not using HTML like Scott, mine's not going to automatically change, I don't think. But maybe, maybe there's a chance it will. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's just restart. I forgot. Um, the one thing I was supposed to do was give it cut in the starting battle. So let's, let's go do that. <laughs> okay. So after we pick up Charmander, we'll need to pause. I 
I have these false starts all the time here on the channel. We'll still name it Char Char. On the bright side, I think I named it faster. Okay. Now that we have it, I'm going to go ahead and pause the timer here. I am going to go ahead and grab Game Hook. You can't see it, but I can. Uh, go to move. Let's go ahead and add move here. C cut. There we are. So there. We should now have cut. Okay. And this was just so we can start the run out, you know, this way. Oh, I didn't give it any PP. That's funny. Okay, I didn't know I needed to give it PP. Okay. Just go ahead and give it 20 because it resets after the battle. Oh, yeah, it hexadecimal must be uh, cut. Or 32. That's fine. All right, un unpause the timer. All right, let's do this. Cut only. On the bright side, uh, this beginning battle should be easier. Also, I cheated and I used growl too. So, no growl, no. No scratch. Make sure to keep an eagle eye to make to notice if I'm if I do use a wrong move. Okay. I think I, I I got it though now. Now that I have cut, I think it it'll remind me every time. And we can absolutely train if we want. Uh there's I mean, yes, I have a timer going, so speed is kind of part of it, but let's be honest, speed is not really that big a factor in this. There's nobody to compare to. You guys aren't really uh, seeing a whole lot in terms of like strategy going on. We're just grabbing good Pokemon. We're just using HM moves, and we're just going to... We're going to barrel our way through the game. We're probably just going to battle all the optional trainers. It's going to be a really casual run. We'll get there. We'll definitely get there. We'll need to do quite a lot more training in this run than we typically do. Like, And by quite a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. Now that we're going to have multiple Pokemon in a, in a run. I'm just going to go ahead and grab these Pokeballs now. Because we're probably just going to need them. And we're going to probably visit the Pokemon Center more times than I'd like, like to admit. Alright. And right now we're, we're trying to get uh, the Nidoran Mail. I can't remember if they're both offered in this game. But we want Nidoran Mail because it can learn uh, Surf strength and I think cut please tell me that's not the only one offered in this game I mean I don't know if Nidoran females uh, different than Nido King or Nido Queen okay I'm starting to think this one may be the gen the generation we're currently using is exclusive okay sure Nido Queen what does it learn Nido Queen learns surf and strength Okay, and then just double checking here that Nido King learns cut as well. Just for posterity's sake. No, Nido King only learned Surf and Strength as well. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter which one we use then. Okay, well, we'll try and grab a level 4 one while we're here anyways. I think it goes up to level 4. Also, I'll probably just train on some of these Rattatas until I get real low. About halfway, maybe. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So this Spiro, we we need to grab a uh, a flyer, and the thing is, we can trade Spiro for Farfetched. But the thing is, it we can't. We just straight up can't use it. Like, I mean, let's be honest, we can't really use the uh, Nidos anyways until we get further, but you get my point. We're catching them for later. Now, later is going to require a lot of training. All right. I think that's it for catching until Sandshrew. I know Sandrew can learn uh, Cut and Strength. And by the way, if you guys have any suggestions which Pokemon to catch for an HM only run, by all means, I, uh, I'm open to a lot of suggestions. I did very little uh, research before today's stream, so anything will do. Uh, I feel Lapras. Oh, definitely. Definitely Lapras. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Duan. Wel and uh, nice Pikachu icon. If you haven't noticed, I changed up the sub icons. Uh, Warlords, I think, at the year and a half icon. Something like that. So he just went, he just f got off the Venusaur icon, which he never had. Uh, why am I catching such weak Pokemon? May as well get the stronger versions. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you're right. Instead of the Nidoran version, the Nidoran, we should catch it in Safari Zone. That's a good, good call. Um, as far as Spearow is concerned, we're just, we're trading it for... Um, we're trading it for Farfetch'd, and then we're just gonna have Far- Oh, I guess we could just use the Spearow. We don't- You know, just for- Just be cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna train them. Yeah. Uh, but for- As far as Farfetch'd is concerned, I mean, it's just cooler to have a Farfetch'd than as a Spearow, and it's one of those runs where, you know, we have other Pokemon, we might as well take advantage of the trades the game allows us. But we're probably not gonna- use Farfetch in battle. We're just going to catch uh, Moltres because it's just on the way. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, the second boulder in uh, Victory Road where you have to move it all the way left across like the whole little map there. Uh, if you go to the ladder above it, that's right where that's right where the um what's it called the the mole traces oh i actually didn't know that it is the same level as the po oh see i've never done any in-game trades like at all in in my entire life i think at one point in okay i should that's wrong in gen 2 i traded uh like a i can't remember something for an onyx Uh, so I traded something for an Onyx, and then, like, the Onyx was constantly disobeying me, and then I just never traded ever again. I don't know what level we can do, uh, we can do Brock at with just cut. I assume with 35 cuts. Uh, or Dodrio. Right, I've been, I've been, uh... A lot of people have been telling me Dodrio and Firo. Dodrio is the strongest flyer. But the thing is, uh, is it the strongest one that uses fly? So specifically, which one has a higher attack stat? I think flying moves are attack stat. So which one has the highest attack stat? Specifically. And is also flying type. Because that's the only one it can learn.
You also got to remember, if I do the uh, just catch Moltres with the Master Ball strategy, I don't have to level up my flyer at all the entire game. Right. Do you guys think we should just, you guys, would you guys rather me just catch the Moltres with the Master Ball, or would you rather me just use the Dodrio? Because I'm, I'm foreseeing this run taking like 10 hours. So this is going to be a today and a tomorrow thing. Both. <laughs> oh, I ran out of cuts. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm also considering adding an unspoken rule where I don't do any training after Brock on uh, wild Pokemon, but I, I have a feeling that would probably be too hard. Yeah, I know. I know I don't have, I know I can just, the thing, the more or less I'm just thinking if I don't have to train Dodrio, all the trainer experience goes to other Pokemon. So it's, it's not like I'm not considering I can do both. It's just that if I have a Pokemon that just starts at level 50 and the only one I can use is fly, it, you know, it's a good option, but you know, we could, we could do the Dodrio. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. Tentacruel learns cut. Oh, but the thing is, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Nidoqueen. So Nidoqueen for uh, Surf and Strength. I guess we could. Hmm. Maybe I should find a Pokemon that has Stab Surf. Oh. Hmm. Gyarados. Gyarados. Gyarados will get Stab Surf, and it. I think it learns Strength. Yeah. My only problem is uh, getting the Gyarados. I can you catch a level? F oh, I don't even remember where the good rod is. I know the old rod is in Vermilion, like in the top left house. But where's the good rod? And but with the good rod, oh, one of the ones that I've definitely heard um, from the grapevine is Krabby. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking about catching a level 15, uh, 15 magic harp, so that way I could get it earlier on. Oh, you know what? Um, after, after rock tunnel, I think you can get the super rod by going in the bottom left area. I'm gonna make my move set really funny. <laughs> Growl and leer. Oh. Only has 50 special. Oh, right. So, uh, but but the thing is, Kingler with 130 attack will have strength and cut. That's something. Yeah, you're right. I would have to train it. I, the question is, where can I get the good rod? If I can get the good rod um, before Rock Tunnel, then I, it's probably worth getting it. But if I just, if, if it's after Rock Tunnel, I might as well just get the super rod because I think I know where it is. Oh, I ran out of PP again. It's after. Okay, well then, then we'll go with the, the Super Rod. Ooh, someone should make a list of our possible team. Well, the, it's not it's not that we're going for speed. It's also we're going for fun. A lot of people here are just big fans of... Uh, theory crafting but yes I was more or less trying to think what if what if we can change up our team you know mid run or, or or things that people would like I could go for speed and if I was going for speed I'd probably just use uh was it like two or three Pokemon I'd probably just catch Moltres for fly I'd probably uh use Probably Snorlax. Does Snorlax learn Strength and Surf? So it would probably be Charizard, Snorlax, uh, Moltres if I were going for like speed. But you know, I'm going for casual. Maybe even Nidoqueen. And Koga's Badge. That's, yeah, that's good. 
get a Beedrill. <laughs> Without Sword Stance, I don't think Beedrill's gonna be too useful. <laughs> oh, look! Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and do a, do an attempt at Brock, now that we have uh, Charmeleon. I've never really used Tenta, Tentacool or Tentacruel. And we'll just battle this one anyways. Just in case I get sand attack too much. I'll use the potion so that way I don't have to uh, worry about going back to heal. Oh, I have got the, uh, the, the set on. So now I actually have to worry about clicking B after each Pokemon. Uh, I don't even... We'll see how close it is. Will this be our first reset? Probably. Oh my god, I used 12 cuts already. My bad. Oh well. We're probably gonna run out of PP. I didn't even uh, consider that. It's okay, it's a casual run. If it was a non-casual run, I'd probably just start over. Wow. We had 23 cuts. We used 21 cuts on Geodude. I don't think we can do it. Yeah, you're right. We might need a second Pokemon to train it up. What else learns cut early on? I mean, I, I I thought you were saying Beedrill for the memes, but you might be right here. We might actually just have to straight up get Beedrill. My only problem with Beedrill here is uh, Weedle has an absurdly low uh, spawn rate. It's like 1%. Because we're playing uh, blue. And we're playing blue because Sandshrew can learn cut and strength. And Sand Slash is kind of a beast. At least I think it's a beast. Maybe with HM moves it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both Kakuna and uh, Weedle are both like 1%. I mean, we did like 100 battles. So I guess we'll just keep training until we catch one and then we'll train it. Or switch train it. Whichever one we get. If we get a Weedle. We, well, I guess we'll just. Whichever one we get. Whichever's first. Oh, there it is. That was quick. Oh, isn't like the catch rate like absurdly high for like a Pokemon like Weedle? Come on. Oh, I forgot to nickname it. Hmm. See, in my entire childhood, I never really went for nicknames. Oh, well. That's all right. Okay, I I'm just going to double check if... Uh, just to be accurate. Uh, Weedle itself doesn't learn cut. No, no. And then Kakuna won't learn cut. No, Kakuna also doesn't learn anything. Wow. No wonder they're just touted as impossible. They don't learn anything. All right, and then Beedrill. Beedrill definitely learns cut. Got it. All right. I'm curious, does anybody have an idea of what their, their expectation for us to beat Brock is? Like, what, what time? I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere around the realm of uh, 50 minutes. Third, you think, you think we're going to be able to switch train Beedrill that quickly? You are uh, more optimistic than I. 
we'll take it we'll take a shot at 30 minutes though to uh to see if you're accurate by the way if you guys didn't notice my display doesn't uh change so if we end up changing pokemon it's, it's not going to be accurate just saying um if i were using the um html like scott it would change but unfortunately i am not i don't even know how many cuts i have left actually pay attention to that uh five okay four Okay, one. All right. Yeah, definitely heal. Is it, do we get Beedrill at level 10? Uh, Flash. Um, do you get Flash right next to, like, you go through Dig Diglett Cave, and it's, like, on the right there? I th and it's, like, 10 Pokemon, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, we could do Flash. Um, some Pokemon might, might need it, and, you know, it's just an extra move. If we have a problem, we can, uh, if we just run into a problem that we can't get through, we can at least attempt Flash. You also got to keep in mind, whatever Pokemon, uh, we might need at least two Pokemon that know Surf, because we need to get through Agatha with Surf only. Yes, Flashing the Exploding Hiker, uh, Scott's Thoughts also mentioned that. Yes, well, uh... Yes. Yes. We definitely. We want. I think Snorlax is a good choice. So it sounds like the team is going to be. Uh, we're probably not going to keep the Beedrill. We're just going to hold it for a little while. Kabutops. I've never used Kabutops before. Uh, does Starmie learn anything other than surf yeah I mean we could test out a lot of things okay well we're gonna need to pick a we definitely need a Pokemon that learns flash before rock tunnel can you guys think of one uh, that we're, we can add to the team before Rock Tunnel. Speaking of Pikachu, I don't remember seeing a Pikachu here yet. I mean, the Pikachu ra rate is also like 1%. I also think it has a slightly higher spawn rate at the beginning of the forest. Oh, well, there's one. Okay. I just not I just not paying attention. Oh well, that was it for Pokeballs. I'm gonna go pick up some more. While we're here. To be honest. Oh, crap. We don't have two grand. Oh. Uh, if we don't get the Pikachu here, we can't get it until after Brock, it looks like. I feel like there's got to be a better Pokemon than, than Pikachu before Rock Tunnel. Because you also got to remember, the, the Pokemon that I send in 
is going to be the one that flashes the exploding hikers. Does Abra learn anything else though? Like we want we want Pokémon that learn two, two moves. Ideally. Hmm. Drowsy. Uh What else does Drowsy learn? Mag Where do we see Magnemite? Voltor uh Magnemite and Voltorb can only see me before Rock Tunnel. I don't know. Yeah, this is a fun experiment. It looks like we're not going to be able to even get Beedrill by the, by 30 minutes. Or close to it. I mean, I'll try seven Pokeballs on uh, Pikachu. No problem. Actually, now that I think about it, we skipped some of the other optional trainers over there, so we can get some more money. Oh, we could also battle Rival 1A. To get some more money. Oh, look, a Weedle. I'll do that. I'll do all of that right after I do my next heal. Another Kakuna. Interesting. Clefable and Wigglytuff learn Flash and Strength. Ooh, that's that's pretty decent. I know both Clefable and Wigglytuff are, are pretty solid. I, I think... I'd be surprised if they don't learn Surf. Do they really not learn Surf? I mean, they learn everything else. They learn... I mean, I feel like they even learn Bubble Beam. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm pretty sure they learn Water Gun and Bubble Beam. <laughs> I know, right? That's uh Once we get this uh actually, you know, we're going to go ahead and save all of that XP for for B drill. Once we get B drill, we'll b fight all of those trainers with B drill. Isn't there a website where you can search a move and then it'll tell you all the Pokemon that learn it? Like you could, you could, I think it's like Pokemon DB or something. So you could learn, you could, you could search for like Flash and then, uh, then look at all the Pokemon that learn Flash and be like, oh, that one probably learns Cut too, you know? I mean, we could just catch the Pikachu and use it as a Pikachu. I mean, that's fine. We'll just use Flash as Flash only. The only problem is, if the Pikachu gets hit by a single Rock Throw or a Tackle, you know, then then it, we didn't really avoid the self-destructing Hiker now, did we? We would actually have to train the Pikachu. And Pikachu's also double weak to Rock Throw. Alright, we have to be getting close to level 10. Come on. Oh, is it just ground? Oh, yeah, I know it's weak to... Uh, electric type has one weakness. If it's not rock, then it must be ground, right? There we go, level 10. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and game hook in our uh, our our cut. There we go. We now have cut. Be 
You're right. Uh, we'll fight. Oh, I didn't give it PP. Okay, hold on. Let me give it PP. Twenty. Twenty was thirty-two, if I recalled. Okay, well, I had to have done it on a different screen, apparently. There we go. Pay no attention to the man behind the corner. He does not pull the strings. Don't worry. Uh, we're not going to like cheat in Surf or anything on Pokemon that learn Surf. We're just cheating in Cut because there's no way to obtain Cut. That is going to take some getting used to. Not switching Pokemon. Alright, 11. What level do you guys think we could even take on uh, Rival or not Rival, uh, Brock with with Beedrill and Charmeleon. Okay. Okay, we'll try then. Which order do you think we should do them in? Geodude with Charmeleon. Okay, that makes more sense. Yep. Alright. We're I wanna hit twelve before we make it there though. We gotta be close to twelve. We've been eleven for a little while now. Yeah, I I will check. Uh just let's get through. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Pikachu. I guess we'll have to find another Pokemon that learns Flash. We could probably get a... No, I don't know if we can get a Tentacool or not with uh, with an old rod. I think it's just Magikarp only. Oh, right. Jigglypuff. Yes. Yep. I mean, Jigglypuff Clefairy is better, right? <laughs> Yeah, let's let's save it for Jigglypuff Clefairy. They're better. Okay, what are we? Fifty-eight XP, and we have approximately twenty-six attack. That's pretty good. Nobody saw that. It's not like we used it in like a, a battle that matters. Like it was just training. Or we could just crit, crit loads of times. That works too. Unfortunately, uh, when it comes to Onyx here, we have no other move. It's just cut. Oh, we got a crit and then it bited us with the crit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this could be doable. Honestly, Bide's the better move because it does less damage than Tackle. Oh, I you're right. I could have switched spammed, but uh, this is fine. This was fine. All 
All right. Well, the nice thing is we know all TMs are useless, so we don't need it. Bye-bye, TM. All right. Well, it's just training. Uh, I think Beedrill has, has seen its... Seen prob possibly its last battle. Oh, you're right, though. 34 is very... Very much closer than 50. Let's just save to make sure I'm through Brock. I guess at this point we're just going through with uh, with Char Char until uh, until we accidentally lose, and then we have to go through with Bedro. I don't think money is going to end up being an issue, so I'm not going to just like pick up water gun and what not to sell. We could, yes. Too bad they don't have a move deleter, so I don't even have to bother looking at the other moves. Oh, wait. No, that's Gen 2. Right? I know of a name raider, but not a move deleter. Yeah, it's Gen 2 in the last city in Gen 2. Before the Elite Four. Good question. I don't know myself. Alright, we'll just grab that Clefairy trainer while we're here. Ooh, uh, actually, Jigglypuff spawns at like 1% or what, or 3% in here. We want Jiggly. No, we want Clefairy. Clefairy's better. I think just I am from Scott Scott's thoughts video, Clefairy is definitely better. Oh look, Parasect or Paris, another cut Pokemon. If only we could use the other moves. It'd be so good if it if we could use the other moves. another Paris so the one time I'm not doing like a, a solo run and like I typically want Paris I see two of them this run where I don't need Paris I just find that comical oh I think it, I should have wrote item list on it as well we're not gonna be using like uh, potions in battle or anything like that either or x attacks x defends i should have wrote that in the title i thought it was just a given but i realized that it, there's a good chance someone might actually get that confused I'm just battling everything, mostly because I'm on my way out now. As long as it's not a Geo dude. Oh, 
it's real refreshing just knowing that I, I can battle everything and it's it, it's nice. Uh, if I recall, Clefairy is mostly on just on the last floor before the exit. Oh, right. We resist grass. And we don't resist poison, but that's okay. I think absorb is a grass move. Right, but I think Clefairy is only like on the uh, the last floor before the exit with the uh, with the fossil. Oh, well, I'm just wrong. Well, um, I guess a Chris just got or a crit just got rid of our decision, so. Well, we have an ether and an emergency. I'll make sure to pick up the two moonstones here in the uh, in here because we might want it for uh, the Nidorino and then we might want it for uh, Clefable. Because as we mentioned, we just need Clefable to survive. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe a level 12 Clefable might survive an explosion, but a level 8 Clefable probably won't. Or self-destruct, not explosion. I mean, the other the other thing we could do is we could just have enough Pokemon to s just survive out. Like if we just have six Pokemon and then we just they just all die, that could also be a plan. Right, but we could just outlast the Geodudes. Another crit. Because, uh, they... I feel like... The best part of uh, Clefable is that it has such a good coverage, and I f feel like since we're not using any coverage at all, it's probably not a good Pokemon. How I wonder how many Pokemon we need to catch for an XP share. That would be really useful. Oh, well, I guess we're not getting the XP share then. 50 is a lot. Oh, wait, I think there's a move up there, actually. No, that's up here. There. I'm sure it's a useless move, but it's a move nonetheless. I really want to get a lot of great balls when I get the chance. Alright, uh, I mean, we could definitely face the rival with all of our cuts. I can't remember if I healed or not. As long as we don't get, like, too many sand attacks here. Or we just get no sand attacks, and that's, like, fantastic.
I, I wonder what the stats are on uh, Sand Slash. Because I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth it. Because, I mean, we're going to have a handful of Pokemon that learn Cut and Strength. I mean, honestly, once we have Strength, there's no need to use Cut anymore. 100? Hmm. Yeah, 100 is a lot. Hmm. What's, uh, what are the stats on Snorlax? I know Snorlax learns strength, and it's essentially just not having cut, which is the same. But Snorlax gets Surf. 110. So it's about the same. The thing is, we're going to have six slots on the team. I just don't know how to use them all up. Oh, right. Stab, too. Ooh, isn't Dodrio... Oh, no. Dodrio only learned Fly. Never mind. Yeah, I don't really want to train, train too much up. I think we... Could, we could possibly solo everything with with Char Charizard up until uh, up until Snorlax. Oh wait, how are we gonna get through uh, to Pokemon Man or the, uh, the Ghost Tower? How do we get through Ghost Tower? Oh, fly, fly, fly! Yes, we'll need a flyer. We'll need an actually good flyer. Ooh. I guess we'll get the Dodrio then. We won't have Surf. We won't have Surf because we have to make it past Snorlax. And to make it past Snorlax, uh, we need to get through the tower. So yeah, we can only use Fly in the Ghost Tower. for four battles against Gastly's. Yes, Cut and Strength are both normal moves, yes. I probably could have just Potion there. But we were down to 12 cuts, so. So we actually do need a Flyer by then. Um, the question is, if I just catch a Doduo, like, immediately, and then immediately teach it fly, will that be good enough to defeat the Gastlys? I want to say yes. Because it's just four Gastlys. But the most important thing is it needs to take on two Gastlys in one battle. Yes, but you also have to remember Dodu is probably going to get outsped by the Ghastly. So Ghastly is probably going to use Confuse Ray to start. And once we're confused, we have to then use two turns of not being confused to hit the Ghastly with Fly. And if Fly isn't a one-shot, then there's multiple turns of that. So that first, the first trainer with two Ghastlies is going to be the difficult one. Ghastly 8. Okay, so we just need to train Dodu up three levels then? Oh, right. I don't know what level the Ghastlies are. It's probably about the same, I imagine. Alright, well, there's definitely no way we can beat Misty at our current level. <laughs> you 
Yeah, it sounds like Doduo is going to be the next Pokemon we actually uh, want to worry about actually training. Oh wait, let's do the mandatory ones first. Level 23. Hmm. That will be cutting it close, but you know, we could, uh... We could do a bit of training to get to that point. Oh. So, we kind of have this, uh... So, our first Pokemon in the party is going to have perfect DBs. I just have that set up. Like, that's just a thing. Because of, um... Because I'm using Gamehook, I always set it so my first Pokemon has perfect DBs. And because since I'm doing a solo challenge, that... That usually, like, will not affect any other Pokemon. Because my first Pokemon is always going to be the only Pokemon I use. But now... How did I get cut? Um... I cheated to get cut. I added cut into my first two Pokemon to make the challenge possible. I gave cut to, uh, right, right. Yes. Uh, Celtic. We, we gave ourselves cut, um, at the beginning with the, um, with a game manipulator, but that, that's it. But also the Charmander has perfect DVs because that's just how I have my, my system set up. Right, right. This is this is definitely better. Also, it's like it took us 35 minutes to get past Brock. So, I mean, it was definitely a challenge. Now, I could have easily have uh, switched to Squirtle and gave it Surf, but that, would, that felt like it was too much cheating to me. Whereas Cut felt like a... Like, Surf is just so strong, and then it would have been, like, no time to get past Brock. But Cut was a decent compromise. Alright, uh, still no... Alright. We don't want... Alright, Super Repels are good. Uh, still no Super... Or, er, uh, Great Balls yet. Okay, it's the first run where I don't actually have to think about about this too much. I just battled two trainers. I'm battling the one, two... Oh, I guess I could just battle the rest for the XP. Anyways. I forget which game you can actually sleep in the boat. Or sleep to restore PP. I can't remember which version it is. Is that this one? Blue? Oh, fire red leaf green. Okay. Well then, uh, we'll save here before Rival will get cut, and then we'll just battle as many trainers as we can before leaving. Hmm. All right, not too bad. Okay, now we officially have cut. So I guess we'll just go. I don't actually know what, what Pokemon all the people in the rooms have. So I'm just going to battle them one by one until I uh, get too low on either PP or uh, HP. Just potion up here. I know some of these rooms have items. I just don't know which items they are. I think this one's like a a max potion. I swear it's max something. 
Or maybe full restore. Oh, Max Ether. Oh, that's really good for cut. <laughs> I, I can't even remember the last time I went down this hallway. Alright, let's use a normal ether. Oh, we have two normal ethers. The game is really going to open up once we uh, get past that Doduo fly section that I mentioned. Because uh, then we'll have Snor we'll uh, be obtaining Snorlax, and after we've obtained Snorlax, then we can just go down and go through Safari Zone real quick. And then once we're done through Safari Zone, it's really simple. Because all we have to do is uh, grab that great ball. We just drop off the gold teeth, get strength, and now the game is like wide, wide open. Strength is pretty good. It really, it is a shame that um, the only Pokemon that learns fly and another move is, uh, is far-fetched and far-fetched just you know isn't very good I think these gentlemen pay a lot of money. Twelve hundred bucks, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> right. Oh, it's Shelter. We might actually run out of cuts. Okay. That's alright. We have Beedrill. That was a miracle. We didn't get confused four times. Four times. <laughs> I thought for sure we were gonna lose. <laughs> I don't know about that. Beedrill stats. I, I I have quite a bit of uh, practice with with Beedrill. <laughs> Beedrill is really really frail. Oh look, Slash. No, I think we'll keep Rage. Rage is a little better than Slash, right? Oh look, another ether. Uh, 
Okay, well, uh... Oh, is that it? Yeah, we can... So, because uh, we only learn... We're not going to use dig. We're just going to half dig for the uh, purposes of digging. And we're going to put it in slot 3, so, hope, so it won't matter. I won't accidentally... Oh. Okay. Star you. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, it's shelter again. Oh, it's just withdraw. Okay. I really, really should not have done that. That's okay. I'm living on the edge here, PP and HP. Okay, well that's everything. All right. Just for Oh wait, that's the old rod. Um Yeah, I have a Spearow. This will get us closer to our 10 Pokemon for Flash. Also, now we'll have a Flyer on us, but that won't matter. Oh, we've already done that. Um, sell some of these items. Don't need that. Don't need Max Potion. Don't need TM08. Yeah, I, I can teach Farfetch Fly, but the problem is its its stats are just so bad. Mm. Okay. Oh right. Uh, we actually need Misty's badge. Yep. Well, I guess we'll make an attempt at Misty. If we can't beat Misty, uh, then we'll have to go to the area right of Vermilion to train. Let's go ahead and teach some more cut. There we go. Not that, like, that level 5 is going to do us any good, but, you know, just, it's there. Oh, we already know, we already know this is, uh, uh, we've been, we've jokingly, uh, mentioned in the, the speedrunner group that, like, uh, chart, Charizard is hard mode, uh, Venusaur is medium mode, and uh, and Squirtle is easy mode. Oh, while well, we're here, we might as well get the bike. Well, the solo runners. I shouldn't say speed runners. That makes us sound like we're all speed runners. No, the the group of players that beat the game with one Pokemon. Yeah, crit crits really uh really helped out. I, mean, I don't think we even took much damage or any damage. Oh, okay, we might have taken a water gun. Alright, so we'll fight Surge's trainers, then do the puzzle.
Um, Bellsprout has a really good move list, but that's only if you're playing the game traditionally. Like, uh, Bellsprout's really good with growth, or, uh, like, Razor Leaf and whatnot, but... Yeah. Hundred, okay. Well, looky there, we're at level 35. I'm just gonna save and just reload each time. I hate the trash can puzzle. I don't, I don't do it for any of my videos either. We might actually, oh wait, we'll hit level 36. Uh, we won't evolve. Let's just hit 36 anyways, and we'll go ahead and pick up some speed EVs here on the Diglets. They've got really weak defense, and they give us uh, speed EVs. Or, well, they're called stat XP in this game. I guess I could easily just fight the trainers to the right of this cave, but th these are all one shots and they, they give me extra speed, so it's good. Uh, I think we have enough Pokemon to, s oh, I think which I know what you mean. We might want to have six Pokemon just in case a tackle or something takes out the rest of our Pokemon. Okay, that does make sense. What are we at? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> that is funny. I did it for the extra attack to consider one-shotting. I didn't even think about that. But we're also really over-leveled. Really, really over-leveled. Boy, these bell sprouts don't want to show up. Oh wow, that was real quick. All right. Oh, look there, the cat might be moving toward the cat cam now. Ah, oh, it was never in question. Thunderbolt. Alright, let's go ahead and sell Thunderbolt and whatever other TM we picked up along the way. I think it was Rest. Oh, Bubble Beam. Okay. So let's see, are we ready to do Rock Tunnel now? Yeah.
I really wish I could do another, uh, use another Pokemon to get all this XP. It is. Uh, I think we'll, we'll use it last, though. Oh, dude, Rock Throw will be absolute killer against us. <laughs> I almost want to put that in the video. <laughs> I don't even think we need Flash anymore. Oh, the nice thing about Charizard, as you can see there in the bottom left, uh, now our speed stat is so high, we can crit 19% of the time. Oh, we got poison. We only have uh, one more antidote, so I guess we're just going to use it. Okay. Well, that was good. I also realized uh, Nidoran and Clefairy can't. I can't use them. Uh, the only okay. So here's how I can use Nidor Nidoran and Clefairy. I throw them out, and then I have to switch them because they don't have. Uh, they don't have cut. Wait, you get an XP for that? Oh, that's interesting. There we go. No problem. Oh, right, B drills in front. Yeah, I forgot that I, I switched twice. So that's the XP gone, but that's okay. It's not like we have any rule against training or anything. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go catch that uh, Doe Duo. Is that what you want to name it? All right, if I remember to name it, we'll name it Doe Do It. We'll, we'll try and remember to name all the Pokemon that we're actually going to be using for battle on purpose. All right, Elixir. I'm not sure if the Just Do It will fit, but we'll try. Also, let's go ahead and pick up some Great Balls. 
Great balls are really good for catching Pokemon at full HP. Okay, well... Sure, why not? I mean, I, I've look, looked into it, um, okay, level 20, uh, unless we do half XP, the Great Ball will be, will be no different between a full, full damage attack and a low damage attack, but I'm just gonna throw the Pokeball anyways, because why not, there we go, nickname, Ja okay, so hold on. J. Alright, lowercase. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, PC, right. All right, we need to go grab Just Do It because we need to start training Just Do It. Oh. I can't remember if this game restores PP or not. Oh. Uh, when you transfer from <sighs> when you transfer from the PC, so I I or if it remembers the HP. All right, I don't think we need Clefairy. Or even Nidoran anymore. And Beedrill is, and Bellsprout are there as like emergencies. Oh, right, right. We're teaching it uh, fly. Duh. Okay. I guess we can just start stick it up in front and just start battling with it. After healing, of course. Alright, uh, we need to grab the Poke Doll so we can skip the uh, rocket section. here. Alright. Uh, oh, you know what? A great place to train? Erica's gym. Whatever uh, Pokemon that uh, we don't defeat, we'll just take, we'll mop with, switch with Charizard. That's a lot of XP actually. Does a uh, Doduo level up with or evolve um, at like a lower level, like thirty something?
31. Okay. Well, seeing as we're already 22, it's pretty good. Um, this first trainer is rather easy, but the second one is not. We'll definitely need to heal to fight the second one. Oh, I, I was watching the PP. I knew I sh Okay, well, I couldn't have pr predicted getting paralyzed, but I, I knew I had enough. That's why I said if they were easy or not. Because if they were harder, then I would have used more PP. I wonder if I should just make no switching a rule if, if that would make the challenge too hard because this clicking no every time it asks me to switch is really annoying. <laughs> but I have a feeling it's going to matter in the Elite Four. Oh, I know set mode is better. I just know at the end it's going to be a problem. I'm going to need it. One more heal and we're done here. Uh, she has three Pokemon. I don't think they're all going to be two hit KOs and we're a little bit low on HP. But to be fair, I'm not sure if it'll make, if Doduo will make it past Victory Bell. Victory Bell, I believe, has Sleep Powder and, uh, and Razor Leaf. Oh wow, I was faster than Victory Bell. That's interesting. I didn't even bother to take a look at the stats. I assume the stats said I was faster too. Alright, level 26 should hopefully be good enough to take on the, uh, the Gastlys. Oh, first. I hope I stock up on enough Pokeballs to actually catch uh, Snorlax. It's been so long since I caught Snorlax because I know it has a really low uh, low catch rate. And without sleep or anything, and it has rest, I'm not sure how easy it'll be. I guess maybe I should get like 40 great balls maybe. Hopefully that'll be good enough. I don't even know if doing damage to it's really going to matter. Oh, I, I'll definitely consider it later. Uh, for now, I just want to get through.
I want to get strength, like, real quick. That was an accident. Oh, it looks like I outspeed the gas leaves. That's good. Alright, just one more ghastly to go. Yes. Pokey doll, get rid of that from my inventory. Now I could switch back to Charizard. Just because I'm low on PP for uh, the duo. Ooh, um, I can't remember. Is poison weak to flying as well? I might be able to grind some of the uh, the bikers as well with the duo. Now, because I know the coughing and whatnot, they're just straight up poison. They're not grass poison. I know grass is weak to uh, flying. Normally, I have the char type chart open above my head so I can answer my own type questions without having to ask, but I forgot to open it. And instead of bumbling through my uh, uh, files, I'll just ask. I've always wondered if you talk to the, if you talk to Mr. Pokemon and you don't have it. Ooh, okay. If you don't have room, are you stuck in that room? Um I mean, yes, that is technically true, but I'm pretty sure uh, Charizard's much bulkier. Like, it hits harder, but it's more of a glass cannon than anything. I mean, there's no way it's... it. Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, so close. This is a great spot to train because they're all really weak. And I need to go get the uh, the super rod anyways, which is right past this specific um, Snorlax. I mean, I could easily just go uh, from Fuchsia up to get it, but I mean, there's no reason to specifically do that Snorlax over this Snorlax. Just preemptively getting rid of the trainers. Wow, that was really good on Shelter. No, we don't need Drill Pack. That move sucks. We have Fly. <laughs> that move sucks. We have Fly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's get rid of these. Alright, we have seven Great Balls. Four Pokeballs, that's definitely not enough. We need to go buy more. But for now, let's just get whatever we can. Oh, that's everything. Okay, perfect. Especially since we don't have status conditions on our side. Honestly, it's been so long since I caught Pokemon. I don't even know if that's going to be enough or not. 
I've never been the catch it, catch them all kind of guy. Sure, why not? Whatever, we'll do that. What are we going to name Snorlax? I like Fat Boy with B O I, but it could be anything. Little boy, <laughs> you're one of those guys. This is little Jim. <laughs> this is little Jim, and then little Jim, it turns out to be the enormous guy. <laughs> oh. All right. <sighs> yeah, I know the the Hiroshima and uh Nagasaki ones. Yep. Also, Fat Man's the name of the gun in, uh, in Fallout. Or the, the nuke launcher. Wow. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Oh, what do you know? Early cr oh. Another crit. Okay. First try. I I Oh, I didn't name it. The name does the name raider let you change the name or does he just say something about your name? I mean, I guess we can just try. There we go. All right. Oh, little boy. So a little tip here is you can click the select button to go from uh, uppercase to lowercase. Alright, so he can learn Strength and Surf. Let's just go get Strength and Surf right now. Hero. Uh, actually, I just realized we were going to have to do a lot of battling to get there because we took the long way around.
on the bright side, now we'll have the super rod from this guy down here. This is who I think gives you a super rod. Yep. That's what I thought. Alright, have a nice night. Um, I will be going until uh, until the timer reaches two hours. So you won't miss too much. Uh, the VOD will still be on the channel. Good night. Thanks. Alright, when game time reaches 10 hours, I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to redo my, uh, my prediction on when I'll finish the game. Uh, the real time is definitely not going to eclipse 10 hours. Oh, I forgot to change again. That's alright. I keep clicking B, like I've just slowly trained myself to click B. One sand attack caused so many misses, it's insane. I actually don't remember the way through this maze. It, I, I haven't gone through this maze in like 10 years. Wow, when I said that out loud, I'm like, there's no way it's been 10 years. And then I just realized, no, there's a good chance it is 10 years. I think we'll have to take the shortcut though. Ah. Oh. There's a, a shortcut right by the bottom of Fuchsia. If you cut uh cut a branch, you can skip like four trainers. To be fair, I'm not really going out of my way to skip trainers at all. Like this guy was totally on a or this guy was totally avoidable. Alright, we're down to 3 PP, so I'm just gonna have to... That's the probably the worst part about the run, is because you, at best I have 35 or 30 PP per... per heal. 30 and 15. I do have the 15 flies. Need to catch him up to Charizard. Okay. Unfortunately, I uh, cannot heal that, so we're just going to have to go around with that poison. This is the, uh, the one I was talking about. You can just walk right through, skip everybody. Alright. 
it's time to pick up two very important moves. Also, we can catch some Pokemon. No need to repel this time. We actually want to catch some, uh, Nidorinos. Or a Nidorino. Not a Nidoran, though. Nidorino. I mean, if Nidorino's not available, we can get Nidorina, sure. I want to... I'm really hoping that they're not version exclusives and that I can get a Nidorino. I'll try to trek through here twice to see. I don't think Rhyhorn is a good HM Pokemon, or Rhydon. Alright, well, now we're just going through grass. You know, it never even occurred to me that there, you know, there's a chance I could get, like, Kangaskhan or... Alright, we'll just catch one. Okay. Venomoth, I looked up, only has Flash, and I think it's Yellow Virgin only. Okay. I also looked up one of the best Pokemon is Dragonite, but uh, I am not going to go through the daunting task to train up a Dragonite. It was worth a try. I don't know if all it learns is Cotton Strength, but that still would have been a cool Pokemon to have, have gotten for the run. And I would... <gasps> Nidorino! Nice! Oh. Well, now we know Nidorino's possible. There's no reason to get Nidorina. So I remember, uh, I think from that one video that I watched, the Ultra Ball is equivalent to the Safari Ball. But the problem is the Ultra Ball and the uh, Poke Ball on a Pokemon that has full HP are, I think, equivalent. So it's like not even very good. There we go. And it's one level higher too. Alright. We're gonna go... All right, this one, I hope someone will understand the reference. The. And no, it's not the TV show reference. It's a different reference. It's an internet reference. Like, I understand this is a character in a TV show, but no, that's not the reference. Oh, let's go ahead and grab uh, strength. I forget if we're able to use it or not right now. Alright, we don't need growl. Not that we're ever going to use growl. Uh, what? Little boy and surf. Little boy. Not that we're gonna use headbutt, amnesia, or rest, but you know, let's get rid of the uh, the best one, so that way we are not even tempted to use it. Rest. All right, and I don't know if we have the badge for it, but we'll just go ahead and check. We do, apparently. 
Actually, I, th I think that's Erica's badge. All right, let's start reorganizing our Pokemon here. We don't need Ducks anymore because we have a flying Pokemon. We don't need Bellsprout anymore. We don't need, unfortunately, we don't need Beedrill anymore. We'll grab the Fawns. Uh, I don't remember if I healed or not. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, right. We have to evolve him first. The whole reason we kept the Moonstone. It's nice to not have to worry about uh, the level, like missing out on certain level up moves because we're not allowed to use them anyways. Okay, so now we need a stab water type. Oh, Lapras. Uh, so the rest of the team might end up being Lapras and uh, Moltres maybe? I don't know. Maybe we'll ask chat tomorrow. We only got 15 minutes left on this one. Just gonna go ahead and battle a uh, trainer to rearrange my move set. I'm not even sure if I can win. I haven't done any. Well, I think we'll end the stream on training. Because, uh,. If you check our stats there in the bottom left, our special is 50 and our attack is 76. So, uh, surf 90, strength 80, so strength is way better. And there's no type advantage. Oof, being slower than everything really sucks though. Alright, let's switch the fawns in. Get a battle. Move strength to the top. Uh, as you can see, 71 attack, 60 special. So they're actually very close in power. I'm still going to go with strength. Ooh. Yeah, strength is slightly better. These trainers are quite high level. Oh, I just used cut. That's funny. Alright. So the last one to move them around is uh, Charizard. Uh, I don't want to battle that trainer. That trainer's got four Pokemon and they're obviously going to be high leveled. Hey uh, there, hope my days have been great. Yes, they have been. Uh, unfortunately, you're catching the end of the stream here, although we don't have a set end. Uh, we're just going to end when we feel like it. Right now, we're doing an HM only run. So the HM only run going to last today and tomorrow. All right. Now that we have all of our Pokemon uh, moves in the order we want them, we'll just start, I guess, leveling up. There's no better way of saying it, just leveling up. What? Alright, so now that we have all... Okay, so we have four Pokemon. Uh, we don't know what our, the rest of the Pokemon are going to be. Hopefully it's going to be... Hopefully it's going to be a Pokemon that has Stab, Water type. Um, and possibly Moltres. And Moltres is just so we don't have to train a six Pokemon to save ourselves on leveling time. Um, but I don't know what the Stab Water type is going to be. I'm wondering if it's Gyarados, but I don't know where you can catch a Gyarados. I might have to look that up tonight. Anyways, to do extra training, we'll just go here and we'll fight the rest of the trainers. But I don't even know if I can catch a Gyarados in the wild. I've never even bothered to look. Yay, poison!
You know, I just realized, uh, Wired Squid, um, you don't actually, you've gifted a bunch of subs, but I don't think you yourself have a sub icon, because I don't, I don't see it. Um, one month sub is the Pikachu icon. And then, uh, two month is Bulbasaur, three month is, uh, Charmander, six month is Squirtle, nine month is Ivysaur, one year is Charizard, uh, one and a half years is, uh, wait, did I say Charizard? I'm at Charmeleon. Uh, what, whatever the order is, I picked the three starters and I just rotated them in the same order. I'm also working on some uh, sub icons, or not, I'm sorry, not uh, sub icons, sub emotes. Yeah, I noticed you like giving a lot more than you, you kind of forgot about yourself. Uh, but I, I'm working on some emotes. Um, I, I noticed there's a free section on Twitch for emotes uh, that for non-subs. I can't, I, I swear I tried to put some in there and I couldn't. But I, um, I just might require a little research on my part. <laughs> Alright, training... Training's going okay. I'm not sure which level we're going to stop at. I feel like... Level 35 is probably pretty solid for Dodrio. Uh, I want to try and get the others to 35 as well. I also want to get them some stat XP. Like, the first ones have no stat XP at all. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I very much appreciate it. Oh, nice! You gave you gave one to SS Daka, and uh, Lost Lost B, uh, very large regulars to the channel. SS Daka spent the whole whole stream with us, and uh, uh, Lost B is a uh, a mod to the channel. Although, to be fair, uh, most of my mods are from my um. My magic playing days. I need to make some new mods for Pokemon. Cause a lot a lot of my mods have quit uh after switching. Well I shouldn't say a lot, like two. Two out of like four? Starting with paralysis, like like our speed could get any slower. Yeah, they got me on night shift currently, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to be a regular as I thought I'd be. Oh, that's that's a bummer. Uh, so when does your your shift typically start? Because it's kind of nighttime already. I mean, I can start the stream earlier. At the moment, I don't have a job, but uh, I will be getting one event uh, soon enough. Oh. Uh, Oh, I can keep going. And I'm 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 not married to the two hour the two hour time limit. Or two hour point. I mean I could set like a goal, like seven PM to seven AM. Is this Eastern Standard? Twelve hour shift. Oof. I've been there. I remember uh back when I was a teenager I used to work Saturdays and Sundays. And it was 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. That sucked. I would not have had that job, though, if they didn't give me food.
Yeah, well, uh, this is just a... We're not really going for speed or anything. If I were going for speed, I probably would just end up going with, uh... With Charizard... That was it. Charizard, Snorlax, and... And Moltres. And then all the XP throughout the entire game would just go to Charizard and Snorlax. But we're just we're just going for, you know, some really cool Pokemon. Trying to evenly train ourselves up. It's just going for a relaxing HM only run. Nidoking's King's leveling up fast. Like, my goal was to get to level 35 for my, uh, first three Pokemon. And Nidoking's almost doing it. Uh, Snorlax is having a really hard time keeping up with Nidoking because Nidoking is fast and Snorlax isn't. But it's a lot nicer now that we have strength. Oh, right, there's one trainer up there, too. Ironically, I've got rid of all of my cut Pokemon except for Charizard now. Yeah, you know, I was while I was looking up some of the Pokemon that have a certain HM moves, apparently Charizard learns uh, flying yellow. But it doesn't learn it in red and blue, and I, I typically only play in red and blue. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate. Are we just gonna miss all of our strengths? <laughs> Come on. Uh... Alright, there we go. 33. Yeah, I tried to, to keep Pokemon that were strong, but also could learn two moves. Unfortunately, there's only one Pokemon in the game that learns Fly and a second HM move. Not counting Flash. Flash. They're, uh, the Legendary Birds, I think two out of the three Legendary Birds, or one out of the three Legendary Birds can learn Fly and Flash. I don't count that. Um, but uh, Farfetch can learn Cut and Fly. But yeah. We, we eventually just decide on Dodrio. Uh, Gyarados is only catchable in the wild in yellow. Oh, Well, that does save me some research time. So does that mean I'm going to have to switch train up a Magikarp? Is that, is that how I'm going to have to do it if I decide to do it? Can I catch Magikarp with a good rod? I don't even know where a good rod is. Like, I, I have the old... Well, I have the Super Rod, but it sounds like the Super Rod's gonna be useless. Yeah. Because the Super Rod's just gonna be too high of a level Pokemon. I, uh... Don't think I can catch a Magikarp with the Super Rod anywhere. Oh man, I think I actually did it. I think I battled all of them. Wow, I did. Well, we're not catching a second Snorlax. We're just gonna go ahead and run from this one. I just need the XP. love how Storlax has such high HP stat. I mean, 171 at this point in the game is pretty good. 
I think that's good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh, and looks like we can now change Nidoking to first. All right, and then I think we'll be ready to at least attempt to go to Koga's gym. Now that we're not doing a solo run, Koga isn't as bad. Because if he self-destructs his Weezing, we'll have more Pokemon and we'll be just fine. But yeah, I really want to get something with Stab Water type. Because right now we have a Stab uh, Flying type. Um... We have a stab uh, normal type. So yeah, we have Dodrio with stab uh, flying. Oh, Super Rock can catch a level 15 Magikarp. Oh, the Super Rock can catch a level 15. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Meower. Uh, route 17 is this route. So I guess we should attempt to catch a level 15 Magikarp here then. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Gyarados can learn both Surf and Strength, and because Gyarados has such a high, or it is a water type, I'll have Stab Surf, and Gyarados's special is relatively high, too. Oh, Krabby can learn Cut, Surf, and Strength. But now that we have uh, a few Pokemon that can do uh, Strength and Surf, and we're going to go for... Uh... Oh, right. Since we're going to go for Gyarados, we don't really need the Krabby anymore. Goldeen. I thought uh, the the Super Rod caught Pokemon at level 35. Just seems really low. Alright. Uh, now we need a name. I don't know how to spell Leviathan, but that would be a pretty good name. I w guess I can Google how to spell Leviathan. Lev I uh Oh my god, it's spelled the way it sounds. Nice. Alright, uh, lowercase, lev, vi, a, uh, an. Wow, that's really close to the limit. Alright. And I guess we're just going to switch train until 20, which might take quite a while. Also, we're going to need to turn uh, set back on, or shift back on. At least it's not early in the game. Switch training up to Gyarados in the early game is so annoying. Thank you, Meower. I appreciate that advice a lot. I I really thought the Super Rock caught Pokemon at 35, so I was like, it wasn't even really a thought in my head. All right, I guess we'll just do the left side here. Already up to 16, that's pretty good. Although leveling up uh, on its own might be a little difficult, but I guess if we just make it the first Pokemon in our party, it can't be that bad. I mean, it'll eventually level up. So 
17. Not bad. <laughs> that was a lot of hits just to go down. Eighteen. All right, this guy's got five Pokemon. I think they're all coughings and wheezing. Could be wrong, though. It's a lot of XP. Now our Dodrio's getting a little underleveled. Nineteen. Another wheezing, that's a lot of XP, that's good. Oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do? I've been forgetting to be... Alright, so I haven't done it yet. But the earlier battles I don't do a lot. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more... Uh, what's it called? Um, entertaining. <laughs> yeah, entertaining. Uh, when it comes to the like gym leader battles. Because those are the ones I use the most when I'm editing videos. And I, my, the video that I just came out with today, I used uh, a few live reactions. Uh, but they could definitely be more entertaining. Boom, Gyarados. Don't need bite. Nope. I can't think of too many, uh, too many spots though the Gyarados can train at. still only level 20, but... Um... It could easily train in Victory Road with Surf, but I want to use it before then. Uh, did I drop the Kanga video? Yes. Yes, and then I'm also going to be working on a Alakazam video or Alakazam redo video for next week, but it's not going to be like next Friday. Like normally I do it every two weeks, but I'm going to try and get it out next Friday. And that's because uh, it's not going to be like as entertaining as my full video because it's going to be a replay video. Replay video, it, I mean, I don't expect like the whole. Well, also, not only is it a replay video, like, I'm absolutely destroying everything. I go through the entire game with no resets on my Alakazam rerun. I think you might have been there. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, just, I just mopped the floor with everything. There's not much to say. Oh, the next Pokemon uh, went down to a Psychic. Oh, this Pokemon went down to a Psybeam. Like, it's... <laughs> Uh, so I'll, I'll do a real quick one in between weeks. I've already written this script for Alec or for Electabuzz. So the script is the hardest part. The script takes like six hours to write. Uh, for a person who's not great at writing, like me. So Electabuzz will be a little bit faster. I think you're wrong. Alakazam's gonna be way faster than Electabuzz. Uh, nice. Ooh, I bet you I could probably get some training in with uh, Gyarados in... Oh, I know exactly where I can get some training in with Gyarados. I'm going to have to go to Game Corner to do it. That's fine. And I think our last Pokemon... Our last Pokemon will probably be Moltres, because it's just going to be on the way. Uh, 
Unless we can, re unless we find something we really want instead. We're not married to Moltres. I mean, Moltres only is gonna know fly. So like, I don't even know if Moltres is good at using fly. Like, like I don't know of, of the three birds, which one has the highest attack stat. That's the one that I should get, but Moltres is just the closest. I could probably take on Koga even without healing. Uh, see, I've been trying to get into all this stuff, but there's so much work that it's spent 50 hours working a job, another 20 hours a week streaming and editing plus writing scripts. I don't see how y'all get... Uh, see, the thing is right now I'm able to do all of it because I'm not working. Um, I quit my job three months ago. They They just weren't respecting me or paying me enough. And also, my grandmother passed away, and I just didn't have enough time. Other grandmother, not this one. I just didn't have enough, like, three days was not enough bereavement time for me. So I've just kind of laid back, what, not for three months. I have, I have a decent bit of savings that I can rely on, so I'm a little fortunate in that way. But yeah, um, Van Man does it. He has a full-time job, and he does the, uh, the, the video making, like, I don't know how he does it. I can tell you how Scott does it, though. I know how Scott does it. You're not going to like the answer. <laughs> or maybe you'll find it very amusing. It's all right. Uh, three months, three months has been, has been better. It was like, it was, it was, it was bad for the first three or first month. Uh, um, Scott, uh, Scott's thoughts, he just works on videos 24 seven. Like, like that's just all like every day. He just, he bunkers down instead of like watching loads of YouTube or watching loads of TV. He just works on videos and that's how Scott's able to get almost two videos a week. The dude is a fiend. Not only that, like he, he has an editor too. So like, like he just does so much. Like that's why it's so good. So polished. So everything because he puts so much more effort into his videos than I or anybody else can. It's very impressive. Alright, finally we get some time to do some training with Gyarados. I have any healing items? I do not. Okay, well, that's gonna limit our fat er our ability to do some training. Ah, oh, it's escape rope. For some reason I thought that was a super potion. I wonder if I should be using Surf. With Stab and like only 10 lower stats, Surf is probably better in most situations. Mm. Nope, we don't need, don't need any new moves. We have our moves. We have Surf and Strength. That's all we'll ever need. Did I do that wrong? I did do that wrong. Oh. No, that was right. It's been so long since I've done this. Alright. I know there's a train trainer here and then up there.
Oh yeah, dude, Scott's videos are awesome. So are Van Man's. I enjoy those those two the most. Um, it it's probably not a popular opinion, but I do feel like um, what's his name? Uh, J Rose has been uh, kind of phoning it in a little bit lately. Like his quality has actually gone down a bit rather than gone up. Oh god, I haven't even started my Parasuck run. We, um, Van Man and I, we have the same run. Uh, we finished, we finished routing our run, uh, last night. Like, like, routing out every trainer. Like, we got a spreadsheet and everything for every trainer's XP yield. And then, uh, and then where we could factor in rare candies. Oh, it's, it's a thing of beauty. I can't wait to do it. And don't forget, don't... Don't uh, forget. Well, I guess you weren't watching the channel about a month ago, but a month ago I did the Parasect run because I knew about it a little bit early, and without all, uh, Scott's front end and all of that, I was able to do the Parasect run in one hour on my like third try or fourth try, something like that. So, but, um, someone has me beat by a lot. Um, I don't know if you've, uh, if you saw Scott's other video, um, uh, from his last race, there's a, um, the guy who won the last race, speedrunner0218, he got 49 minutes for Parasect. So I have to somehow cut out 10 minutes. And even though we have a new route, I don't know if I'm going to cut out 10 minutes. Like, I'm just going to have to be, like, utterly perfect at moving. Which, let's be honest, I'm not great at moving. So, I don't think I'm going to get first, but... I could get third. Um, Van Man and I have the same route, and Van Man is just straight up faster than me. He does. He thinks about thing. He thinks about things that I never even dream of. So, at best, I'm gonna get third. At, I imagine I will still get fifth. I I'm pretty sure I can get top five. Do I think top five is? Eh, top five will be all right. We'll see. Only time will tell. Um, a lot of people that have joined the um, chat, they've been posting a lot of their times or like a lot of the times that they have been able to get. And uh, a lot of people seem to be getting times around the range of uh, one hour and five minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. So I think I have, seeing as I already have completed a run at one hour, I think I can... I think I can safely say of all the people who don't like already have YouTube channels, I can probably beat most most if not all of them. Now, don't get me wrong, somebody might come out of nowhere and like doesn't have a YouTube channel and might just be amazing at it. Uh, I have yet to, to see those results though by anybody unless they're just straight up not telling anybody that's a possibility too all right let me get rid of some of these items since we're playing uh casually i'm actually able to get rid of items. Normally I never get rid of items. Oh right, I don't think I'm going to use the dome fossil. I probably am still going to use those. Don't need a pokey flute. Yeah, I'm probably still going to use the HMs. SS ticket, no need for that. Honestly, I haven't been using the bicycle and since it's such a casual run, I don't really need the bicycle. All right. 
Well, uh, what badge are we have next? Sabrina. Okay. So we need to do self then. All right. Oh, I never bought. That's funny. That's really funny. I never bought the uh, water. Normally, it's the first thing I do. But because I don't need any of those TMs, nor do I really need the money, I didn't really go up there. <sighs> okay, I think we should be able to uh, just train over and over and over again in here. Oops. Alright, so I need to get to the fifth floor to get the key. Once I have the key, then I can go uh, um, the floor next to Rival 5, and that's the healing floor. And once I have access to the healing floor, then I can just do all the training I want. Alright. 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 And then there's one trainer between me and the heel. This guy. All right. Oh, well, um, unlike Porygon, there's a lot less randomness to the run. The run is really consistent um, after Rival 2. There's, um, there's like five hard trainers in the entire game for Parasect. Um, those trainers being... The first one is the first team rocket encounter is really hard. Very surprisingly very hard. Um, then after that is the the Goldeen trainer in front of Misty. Not Misty. Misty is easy. Goldeen trainer in front of Misty because Goldeen trainer has peck. Um, then after that it's Rival 2 because Rival 2 has Spiro which has peck. Um, after that, it's Blaine, and then Sabrina, and then everything else is easy. Blaine, the only reason why it's not easy is because if the, um, if the Ninetales uses Fire, uh, Flamethrower, like, immediately, you lose. Um, that's the only hard part. And then for Sabrina, if the, um, if the Abra is able to use Flash successfully, you lose. Um, there's a 25% chance it'll miss, and our routing is just reset. If it doesn't, or like reset until it misses. That's that's the route. So, and those are the first two Pokemon, or first Pokemon. So the first Pokemon of Blaine and the first Pokemon of uh, of Eric or of Sabrina. That the only things that have to be like played a little differently. I think um, Van Man and I were counting our route. Our route uses... It's like under 15 uh, optional trainers. Every like We're like less than 15 battles away from minimum battles in the entire game. It's, it's pretty sweet. I forget what floor this girl's on. Oh well, I'll just keep going down. This is all good training for uh, for Gyarados anyways. We need to get Gyarados up to a respectable level. Oh man, my game time's about to hit that 10 hour. Oh right, I just went up. I should've went down. There we go. Speaking of Scott, he, he posted about looking for someone about writing experience. I'm disappointed. I asked it to come along. Uh, so I have a feeling what Scott's talking about writing experience is he wants somebody to write his scripts for him. Probably. Because, like I mentioned, scripting is one of the most annoyingly, tediously difficult parts of writing the run. Um... The script takes me about six hours on average to write. So it's like an hour to two hours of gameplay. 
but it takes six hours to write down what I'm going to say for the video. Um, and it's really hard because you have to, you have to think about being, uh, you know, you have to think about being entertaining at the same time, which is something I'm really bad at. I am not good at thinking about being entertaining. So maybe Scott's looking for, to replace himself at, at writing the videos. Ironically, because Disable disables a random move, Disable's actually, like, really, like, a non-issue in this run. Because there's a chance they disable my non-HM moves. Nice. We almost got Gyarados up to 35 with the rest of the team. That's pretty impressive. Considering it was a Magikarp, like, 40 minutes ago. Nice. See, I don't really need all the items. There's so many items I'm just not picking up because I hate item management. That's what I assumed he was doing, looking for finding them. Yeah, he already has, uh, I mean, he's obviously kidding when he says corn dogs. Um, but he, uh, he already has a video editor that works for him. So maybe if he can get a screenwriter or a script writer, then he'll have the scripting and the, the, uh, let's see, the scripting and the, editing uh, taken care of by other people that will leave him that means he'll have to be he'll have to read the script remove the bad takes then he gives it to his editor so that'll leave him to uh, basically he'll make all the graphics that you see on the screen like you know I've got like the Charizard the moves and all that he'll make the graphics he'll make the he'll play the game and he'll read the scripts that sounds like a pretty good deal. That's really fun. That sounds so, so fun. That's a lot of Pokemon that you just get to play without having to worry about the hard, hard work. That's, that's awesome. I wish I could get to his point someday. But for now, I'll be fine with my currently at 50 subs, I think. Which is pretty good, considering two weeks ago I was at 23. So I'm making good good progress. It's always hardest to, to get off the ground. Oh man. Nidoking levels up so fast. Like, look at this. Nidoking is already all the way up here with Charizard. I gotta stop using Nidoking. The other guy's gonna be really happy when he when he shows up to the stream and we're gonna have a full team of five at like level 40 and we really haven't done any badges since he left except for Koga. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop when the game time hits 10 hours because I'm gonna because my graphics not gonna fit 10 hours apparently what Scott and uh, Van Man do is they have a graphic for when it reaches 10 hours and a graphic for when it's under 10 hours instead of uh, instead of resizing it to fit 10 hours because it's not always gonna be 10 hours actually almost almost every time is it not gonna be 10 hours And we'll, we'll start tomorrow. I don't know what time we'll start tomorrow. I guess we'll just start here at the top floor and work my way down. I 
I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to start at 7, which is unfortunately when you're going to work. Yeah, I don't know if you plan on catching the VOD or not. That's fine if you don't. I've been finding a lot more people are watching the VOD these days, too. Oh, you're off on... Oh. Oh, then Friday, Saturday... Okay, so you're usually going to be able to catch Saturday, but you're not usually going to catch Friday. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's not too bad. Okay, well, it looks like we're done here in Sylph. Um, the only thing left is the Rival. Uh, Rival is the... Go to the fifth floor. Then here, then here, over here. Alright. Save. It's alright. I did. I'm I'm just glad that people are watching and people are uh people are interacting. Back when I was playing Magic, some days some nobody would speak at all. And then some other days people were constantly chatting all over the place and it was great. So I'm just I'm just always happy when people show up. That was our weakest Pokemon and it got through half his team. That was pretty good. Nice. Dude, Dodrio is pretty good. I mean, he got two withdrawals off, which is the reason why this Blastoise isn't down. But I could easily crit. I mean, Dodrio's got... See, I crit and I won. Alright, here's our last Pokemon. Well, maybe our last Pokemon. I was thinking about... Now, I was thinking about using uh, Lapras, but now that we have Gyarados, we don't need Lapras. I think Gyarados has better stats than Lapras, too. Yeah, our last Pokemon is going to be Moltres, most likely. Unless, uh... Or what, whatever of the three birds has the highest attack stat. I don't know which of the three birds has the highest attack stat. It's probably Zapdos. Rage, that's funny. See, I, I should be entertaining during this battle, but like it's just it's so trivially easy because I've been overtraining every Pokemon. And then we'll go out and grab this master ball for that for our impending uh, final Pokemon. All right, and we reached 10 hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at approximately 7 p.m., in which we'll be playing the same thing. I'll pause the timer here. Tomorrow we'll be starting at 2.34. Thank you. Oh, I need to save. Duh. Now we can go get off. All right. Moltres 100, Zapdos 90, Articuno 85. Oh, perfect. So it's Moltres. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Meower. I appreciate it, and hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, goodbye.